Okay, so welcome to this second video tutorial in this series of tutorials on SPSS brought to you by sportsciencetutor.com. In the first tutorial, we looked at the basics of data entry and how we can use the variable view within the data editor in order to change uh, the variable properties from the default settings so that they appear, the variables appear more descriptive and more meaningful within the data view. What I want to do in this tutorial is look at some of the other variable properties and look at how we may want to change these from the default settings. If we start with the variable name, we already dealt with this in the first tutorial, but essentially we're looking at providing some kind of descriptive name rather than the default setting, which will just be variable one, variable two, etc. So we might want to type in age, for example, as a descriptive variable name. Moving on to the next variable, property type. The default setting is numeric um, and this essentially means we're dealing with numbers um, and that's most likely what we're going to stick with. So we're probably going to stick with the default setting here but you should just be aware there are other options. You may want to type in dates or you may want to use string variables uh, which involves typing in letters as opposed to numbers. But I'd suggest you're probably going to be sticking with numeric variables, which means this next property, width, isn't going to be of much interest to you because that's simply specifying how many characters you can use when typing in uh, string variables. So we don't need to worry about that too much. Decimals may be of more interest to you because that relates to numeric variables and it simply specifies the number of decimal places we want to report our values to. The default setting is 2. You may want to change that to 3 or to 1 or, or whatever the case may be. In terms of label, this allows for a more descriptive title compared to what's possible um, under the column that deals with the variable name. So there are less restrictions here. We don't have to, uh, well, we're allowed to use spaces, we're allowed to use special characters. So for age, I might want to type in age again, but then in brackets, I might want to actually specify actually. I'm reporting age in months rather than years, and that might be a useful reminder to avoid confusion when I'm looking at my data set on subsequent occasions. In terms of values, um, this property was dealt with in the first video tutorial, so if you need a reminder of values, go back and check the tutorial on data entry. In terms of missing, it's important to realize that sometimes we'll have incomplete data sets, in which case we will want to tell SPSS when we have a missing value. And we can do this quite easily by specifying a particular number to use in these situations. Just make sure that number is outside of the range of numerical values that's going to apply to your data set. So we're looking at age here. We've said that we're looking at age in months. We might be looking at, say, um, very young babies from three months to nine months, for example. And so a value of 15 may well be appropriate to use uh, for when we have a missing value within our data set because that's not going to apply to the normal range of values within our data set. And so we can type in 15 here. We can actually type in more than one discrete missing value, but there's probably no real need to click OK. And then within the data view, whenever we have a missing value, we just type in 15. Back to the variable view and columns. This relates to how narrow or how wide our columns are going to be in the data view. Fairly redundant though, because we can just go to the data view and drag the columns wider or make them narrower as we see fit. So we don't need to worry about that too much. We don't need to worry about align too much because that's just whether we want our numbers to be aligned to the left in each cell or to the right in each cell. No big deal really. I just leave it at the default setting. Measure may be of more interest. This specifies what scale of measurement you are using. Now we're normally told in statistics that there are four scales of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, 
and ratio. But if we click on the cell here, we'll see that we've got ordinal, we've got nominal, um, but there is nothing to select for interval or ratio. The reason for this is because SPSS has the same setting for both interval and ratio, and so if dealing with either of these, just select scale. Um, that applies to both of them. In terms of role, this specifies the particular role of a variable in the analysis, e.g. is it a dependent variable, is it an independent variable? And if we click on the cell here, we can see different things that we can select. We can select input, target, we can select both. Input relates to independent variables, target relates to dependent variables, and both means that Essentially, the variable may take on either the role of an independent variable or a dependent variable. But really, you probably don't need to worry about dealing with that too much. Just leave it at the default setting. That should be fine um, uh, for, for most purposes. And hopefully, that's been of use to you. If there is anything you need more clarification on, though, check out sportsciencetutor.com and you may want to uh, use some mental time which you can learn about on the website.